Hey everyone, Jeff Lee here. We are at NAB 2014. We stopped over at the Free Fry booth. I'm standing next to Tab Forshaw. Uh, so we're showing off a couple of new products. Uh, right now he's holding the new Movi ring. So Tab, tell us a little bit about the concept behind it and the point, uh, kind of the general thought behind this. Yeah, so we, uh, it's just a, a random idea that came from our friend Casey at Mindcastle. He came in one day with a hula hoop and said, you know, it'd be really cool if there was a ring that went around the Movi. And uh, I kind of laughed and thought, oh yeah, that, that's interesting. Th thanks, Casey. <laughs> And then we thought about it, and it's uh, it makes like for a really compelling way to do handoffs because people have been doing a lot of handoffs with the Movi. So the ability to for me to have two points of contact that are really stable and hand it off to somebody else is cool. And then uh, kind of an unintended consequence is uh, for some of the action sports stuff. We like we've got this guy Kirk that uh, films for us a lot. He launches himself off these huge ski jumps, and it's a nice way for him to be able to kind of hold the Movi in a variety of different orientations that may or may not be more comfortable as you fly off a cliff. Of course, I mean, one of the things is if you're going from the traditional kind of crossbars to the actual Movi ring, I did notice that there's new quick connect or quick disconnect yeah, on the top yeah. of this. So, oh, so, yeah. so uh, we've got a quick release system that we've built for the Movi. Hey, Shane, will you hold that just so it doesn't tip? So you, there's one clamp, you undo the clamp and you press these two buttons and the whole thing disconnects. So this will allow you to take the gimbal and attach it to a variety of things from handles to motorcycles to cars. We've got all kinds of different vehicles and items to move the Movi around. And then when you want to install it, just right back on, uh, tighten the clamp down, and you're good to go. It only so, takes a few moments. Yeah, it's super versatile and uh, easy to do. Now, this is obviously on an M5. Do you have, will this work on an M10, do you think, or is it really designed for the 5 only? Uh, yeah, it'll work on M10, M5, and M15, the whole product line. And its name is Toad in the Hole. Uh, oh, the quick release? Yeah, it's quick, quick release called Toad in the Hole. So there's the there's the toad, there's the hole. <laughs> and now will the Moby Ring work on everything or just the uh, five? Uh, yeah, it'll work. Uh, as the gimbals get bigger, you won't be able to pan around unobstructed. But it's typically not a problem because you're turning with the gimbal as it's turning. So, yeah. And of course, the big thing I think is the, the controller that's right next to us. I can yep. hold this if you want. Okay, great. I hold that out of the way. Yeah. Uh, so this is a new Movi controller. Yep. Right. So uh, it obviously is a replacement for the current st style controller. Yeah. But so a lot of new toys built into it. Yeah. So this thing will work on any of the uh, any of the Movies. Uh, the main features are a nice big professional joystick, which a lot of people have requested. Uh, so we have full control of all the Movi controls you have now. In addition, we have iris, uh, focus, and zoom. There's some additional features, uh, stop, stop, start, record. And then the thing that we're kind of most excited about is this actually provides telemetry back from the Movi. So as, as the Movi operator, you're now getting critical data back from the Movi, Movi as far as battery voltage, GPS lock. Uh, you can adjust your stiffness settings on the fly. So it provides a really like seamless and uh, single point solution for an operator so you don't have to be messing with a tablet and that kind of thing mid-shot. Speaking of tablet, are there any plans to make the tuning settings available via this controller? Yeah, absolutely. So this will eventually this will be able to have full control of all critical parameters for the Movi, and then while all at the same time reporting back to you. Right. So you can tune it on the fly, yeah, essentially. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And yeah. of course, there's also that nice uh, uh, tilt reverse versus normal switch. I noticed built right into it. Yeah. So if you're yeah. flying, it kind of uh, so up is down. Yeah. Kind a lot of, of people uh, have different views on which way makes the camera point down. So we've got a switch where you just reverse it, and then. There's also several uh, user-definable knobs and switches, so if you have a particular thing that you find yourself doing over and over, you can assign it to a certain function. Of course, I noticed it's powered off of a one uh, V-mount slot battery, so that one battery is currently powering the controller, and I noticed you have USB power outputs for additional yeah. accessories. so we tried to make this a completely integrated solution so you can take uh, one V-mount battery and have it supply power to everything that you need. So your wireless system, your LCD, your iPhone, your iPad, uh, tablet, whatever you need. There's uh, two USB ports, there's 12-volt ports, there's 5-volt ports, um, there's a data in-out port for future expansion. We'll have wheels and some other options in the future. Cool. And of course, it's all custom molded carbon fiber, so it's incredibly lightweight, which yeah. is super critical for yeah, this. So the, the shell is uh, custom carbon fiber molded. We've got these machine 6061s, hard, hard points uh, all over the thing to attach things to. There's a tripod mount if you want to mount it to a tripod. Uh, there's going to be several harness solutions. One is a neck strap if you just want something to, to stabilize it while you're shooting and be easily mobile. Uh, we'll have a harness system that's, you know, if you're skiing with it or something, you want a little more security. Um, but yeah, we tried to build in, I think, most of the features that will help people be more effective filming with the Movi. Now, when do we think this will be available? Um, is there availability date yet? Yeah, there is. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think uh, May 15th is when this starts shipping to, uh, it'll be shipping to our pre-order customers first. 
Yeah. Awesome. So uh, we'll take a go. We'll go walk over, take a look at the M15 next. So. Yep. Brand new M15, yep. right? Very exciting. So I see. Obviously, the first thing is that there's an F5 or sorry, 55 on there. So yep. that's the, probably the first thing most people will notice. Yeah. As well as kind of the crossbars that the M5 has. Yeah. Uh, what else is new about this? Yeah, I'll give you kind of a product run through. So, uh, in a lot of testing, we've discovered if you fully engage the camera, you get a lot higher stiffness. You're able to get a lot higher tuning settings and thus uh, better shot stability. It's also just more robust. So if you're if you're doing action sports, the camera won't shift, it can't slide, it'll stay exactly where you put it, which just makes it easier to work with. Um, we also simplified the tilt vertical balance on this one, which is helpful. But uh, as far as improvements, um, the, the biggest improvement has come to the pan axis. So there's now two tubes for the pan axis, which allow you to mount this inverted uh, and still utilize the full payload. Um, these are also adjusted now with just toggle clamps, uh, which is much easier and quicker than the, the adjustment on the M10. So now everything's completely toolless, yep. just like the M5 is, right? Exactly. And I noticed a second battery tray, so that's not being used to power the movie, so that's just there for... Yeah, it's if you want to power accessories or any of that stuff. So, uh, you know, if you've got follow focus or wireless or anything that you want to power using a movie battery, it's just a nice option. And the weight capacity stays at 12 Fif pounds? 15 or? pounds. 15 pounds. Yeah. Well, hence the name, so... Yeah, exactly. So uh, cameras that this kind of built with in mind is the F55, F5, Alexa M, uh, Epic Dragon with some bigger lenses, map boxes, that kind of thing. Just kind of pushing more to the professional camera setup. This is kind of what we believe the biggest gimbal that a human can carry without dying. So. <laughs> Great, so very exciting, brand new uh, M15, a lot of features yeah. that people have been asking for with the M10, yep. uh, kind of made its way over to the 15. And there will be an upgrade path for M10 customers, um, which we're rolling out uh, at, during the show. Yeah. So I, I believe there's no pricing announced yet, that's still something that's to be determined. Uh, the upgrade uh, will be around $3,000 for M10 customers. The, the final pricing of the M10 hasn't been, or the M15 hasn't been set yet. And when can we expect to see these uh, start shipping? Um, these start shipping upgrades around June 15th. Yeah. So very shortly. Yeah. Great. So again, really exciting to see this. Uh, we're big fans, obviously, of the Freefly Movie system. Uh, looking forward to see what else they come up with. That, that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for more.